5,140 pounds, the cure for the common camper, really. Um, this is the 2,500 front living Winnebago Mini here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And that is something a lot of RV companies do not offer anymore, is a front living room with a private rear master bedroom, which I've always thought is nice for folks like me who like to sleep in the morning a little bit, uh, because it keeps the bedroom away from the foot traffic of the campground. And uh, with the theater seating that we've put into this one, it, it gives you just this easy direct viewing entertainment center that I think, you know, if you're looking to just do some couples jumping around, you are really going to enjoy what you see here. Now with the slide out closed, it does get a little tight in here, but you can still slide through this thing. So if you need to uh, get inside of it at a travel stop or get it packed up at the house, you can get through the RV in its entirety to get it packed up and ready to roll. The lighter, brighter interior decor in these Winnebago's has been their, their signature calling card, and I think one of the biggest recipes to their, or biggest pieces of the recipe to their success anyway here at Haywood RV. They have really punched through the mix and uh, really defined themselves, but I think it's because they're also doing a lot of things different, but it's easy to miss that. Now, they've recently gone through the largest wave of updates that I've ever seen their trailers go through, and I think every ounce of it was warranted and done very well. Um, uh, starting with the flooring down here, I'm, I love the color of this flooring. It's not too light, not too dark. It keeps the camper from being too bright inside without being oppressively dark below. But notice that the camper is completely carpetless. Over here in the dining area, you have no carpet. And it blows me away. How many travel trailers will put no carpet here, but then they'll put carpet there? And that's dumb because this is the area with the food and the drinks. That's the number one place you don't want carpet. Um, it, it, it's a little harder from a production standpoint. It costs a little more money to do that. But that's one of the things you're going to see as we go through these Winnebago's. They're more of a material premium camper. Um, they're often, uh, people will say, yeah, they, they look a little simple inside though. That's by design. They're not trying to throw it in your face. They're not trying to put lipstick on a pig. They're trying to build something that is going to be like if you want to buy the last camper you're ever going to buy, it could be one of these. That's, that's the idea behind the uh, Winnebago travel trailers. Now, all of our tables and countertops and bathroom counters and everything, they're going to be the sealed edge press membrane material that we're looking at here. Um, basically, you know, if you have a drink sitting here and it sweats or if you spill something, no sweat. You can wipe it up. It's not really going to damage anything. There's nothing that can soak into or cause problems here. And you're going to find that all the windows in here open for airflow, including the slide side windows and the uh, front seating side windows. So you can sit on this theater seat and get just an awesome cross breeze rolling through here. Something else I love as a person who, you know, I actually camp too, is the uh, the fact that you've got these power outlets up here and that's where I'm gonna have phone chargers going constantly. You know, there were five of us in a couples camper last week and we made, we made it work and it was fine. But we were constantly juggling phone chargers and having a spot to have some of those dedicated where like that's kind of my charger, that's their charger. It's nice to have little things like that or a reading lamp or a fan or anything here. Now the theater seat up front was actually my suggestion at Winnebago last year. I said, you know, your 2500 front living is nice, but you're staring directly at the TV and all it had at the time was a jackknife sofa. Can we put a theater seat up there? And they went, you know what? That's a great idea. And bam, made it happen. So, you know, sometimes just, uh, you never know. You just got to ask the right people the right question at the right time. Now, you've got some good door side viewing here. And that's actually one of the things that this one maybe, I don't know, accidentally does very well. Because your kitchen breeze window, a real window in the door that does have a privacy shade, by the way, not just a cloudy glass thing, and your taller window here give you some decent campsite viewing, and especially when you're sitting in this chair, you're looking right out that window, and if someone's knocking on your door, you can see them long before they can see you. Um, the uh, uh, All your important bells, whistles, buttons, switches, etc., they're up here, away from the grandkiddos, so that, you know, the little fingers can't get a hold of them and burn up your grandfather's water heater. Not that I would know what that was like when I was six years old, but I would know what that was like when I was six years old. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I burned up my grandfather's water heater when I was a kid. We were dry camping. I didn't know what the... The button turned red. I thought it was neat. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. Over here in the kitchen, I love this little attention to detail. Like, it's neat that the or the uh, the stove is recessed. You've got this tempered glass stovetop cover here. But you have both rear 
and side splash guards. And that side splash guard right there is something I can count on one hand the number of other brands I see do that with consistency. And I don't even know if I need all five fingers on that hand. Um, the sink covers, again, maximize your prep space, and the, the Peninsula-style countertop here really does a, a bang-up job for us on that. Now, let me spin us around here a little bit. The uh, TV right there, again, directly across from the theater seating, so it's what I call a no-neck wrecker. It makes it much, much easier for entertainment viewing. Um, all of our lights in here are LED, and now a couple optional pieces of equipment that may or may not be present on the camper that we have in stock here at Halid RV. Most of the time, the 2500 front livings that we have in stock will have the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner, as well as their weather package, which adds a layer of heat reflective foil insulation um, starting from the nose all the way around the roof, down the rear wall, and then a layer of double-sided astrofoil in the underbelly with an improved tank holder, uh, tank um, enclosure um, as compared to previous generations. So once again, this is the best Winnebago for a lot of reasons, um, you know, that's been out there. Now, it's a couple's camper. You know, maybe Grandpa and Grammy are retiring, something like that. But um, what about the guests? Well, we have solutions for that. Not like most campers, you see a dinette and that's going to fold down into a sleeper. And that's good for a grandkid, big dog, maybe. Um, but uh, over here, one of the cool things about the theater seating, as opposed to the jackknife sofa, you actually are going to pick up an additional sort of sleeping space. And if, if you're not going to use it for grandkids sleeping, which it works very well. We just spent the weekend camping uh, in Mr. Halitz, Montana. He does not have a bunkhouse. My wife and I sat on the, or slept on the hide bed. My daughter slept on one of the theater seats. And she actually commented one night when I asked her how she slept. She said it was uh, she liked Grandpa's recliner better than she liked uh, her bed at home. Now, whether she's being dramatic or not, I don't know. But the fact is, she slept in later than all of us and slept pretty darn well every day. Um, so these can definitely be great for uh, either, you know, kid sleepers or just taking a, a little daytime snooze. Now, the little storage pockets on uh, each side, both above and below the theater seat, they're not the largest in the world, but they're also not wasted. And you will always find something that you can put in there. The fact is they didn't waste anything. You've got a huge amount of long-term storage, things that you're going to use infrequently under the dining seating right here. And that's a very good look. At, this is uh, the 3 8 plywood uh, decking that you're going to see under that. So you're, I mean, you're even sitting on better materials here in the Winnebago, which is kind of what you're going to continue to find throughout, like the uh, all plywood box drawers right here. We've got hardwood cabinet frames. All of this is pocket screwed together. If we look through here, you can see daylight because you can see that there is a door on the other side of the uh, um, you know, kitchen as well under the countertop to give you full access to all that space. So big pots and pans go really good in that other access door. Um, above overhead, you know, uh, handy things for like cereal boxes or whatnot, I don't know. But it's actually over here in the closet area where this thing really starts to uh, open up and define itself. Um, this is a classic feature you don't find much in the business anymore. You don't tend to find a big hallway closet pantry across from the bathroom like you used to. And part of the reason is this is a classic floor plan that Winnebago just dusted off the prints and said, huh, we build a 25-foot rear living. Why doesn't anybody build a 25-foot front living? And I, I don't know the answer as to why. I just know that Winnebago does, and it's pretty popular here at Halet RV. And then one other thing I want to point out is that your underbed storage is easy lift. Well, I guess two things, because it's also separated from the outside storage. So you don't have inside and outside stuff mingling with each other. Now, one of the updates on this one that had taken place previously is that that's now a 60 by 80 queen bed. It's not the short camp queen anymore. It's a longer bed. Now, check this out. You've got three-sided windows here in the bedroom. You have left, right, and center, which is a fun little game to play with people if you get together, by the way. You can turn it into a drinking game if you're a little creative. Not that I would know. Anyway... So we've got the longer queen bed here with room to walk around it. They actually extended the floor plan to accommodate that. So you see you can walk around here. The mattress doesn't like shove up against the wall. Now you've got um, big side stands on both sides of the bed for your CPAP machines and more phone chargers or whatever. And big windows for big viewing in this bedroom. That's something Winnebago does well. They have some of the largest in class windows in their bedrooms. 
You've got the his and hers hanging closets, and if you look above the bed, you'll actually see your TV hookups up here. Um, you can get it from the factory, or we can get it for you if it's not present. Like, currently, there is no TV mounted against the ceiling of this Winnebago, but there could be, and that's what it's set and ready for, which seems, a lot of people go, huh, that's weird. But think about it. When your head's laying on that pillow, looking up at the ceiling is more natural, and it's easier on your neck. USB plugs there. And uh, you do have a dead bolting door right here for privacy. So if you don't want people coming in and out through, the, through your bedroom, they're not going to. So we already saw all the storage here. We've got to take a look at the bathroom to finish things up. But as we do, I want to point out one of the things that Winnebago does on pretty much all their campers, and that is they fully frame out all of their doors um, so that uh, this door jam always stays square. So when you're going down the road, uh, you know, the door's not going to pop open and start banging and busting around because those doors, even though they're lightweight, you start going uh, down the highway and you hit a chuck hole, those things can do some damage if you let them. You see the radius bar on that shower track right there? Because I don't use a fisheye lens. That's actually the shape of it. Um, the uh, It gives you that extra elbow room, you know, for a big adult to get in here. Now, the 2500 rear living will have a shower. The 2500 uh, front living has the pseudo tower shower tub combination, although they did the best they could to keep that as low to the ground as possible. So the step into the traditional shower, or this one, is about the same. More of that waterproof countertop stuff I mentioned and a big stainless sink in here. And that's one of those things I like to look at. Like a lot of brands, when you look at the living room, you'll see nicer stuff. But if you start looking at the bedroom and the bathroom, a lot of them will scale down. Well, here we've still got a porcelain stool. We've got good leg room. We've got the same countertops. We've got the same stainless stuff here. And we have a double vanity, which is really nice because, once again, you can always find something to put into a cabinet, even if it's just to keep your toothbrushes kind of out of sight and out of mind. Now, like most campers, you do have a choice of different interior decors. What we looked at earlier was the graphite, and I think it pairs up nicely with this platinum, kind of like automotive colors. You know, your silver and your black look good together. But there's also a more light-colored tan decor inside, but there's also different exterior uh, skin packages. There are like five or seven or eight, I don't know, a bunch of different ex exterior skin colors available on these Winnebago's. So if you're not into platinum, if you prefer maybe white, Sometimes you can get a red or a blue or different things. You let us know what you're looking for. Or again, double check what we have in active inventory because this might not be the one that we have in stock. It is a more popular configuration of this, but not 100% of people agree that this is the one for them. So we do try to keep our Winnies in stock in a couple different color combinations, although it never seems to matter. Whatever color we have in stock, somehow it is always wrong. <laughs> but speaking of that skin, this is a big part of the secret sauce that goes into the Winnebago travel trailers because they are using a much higher grade fiberglass than you typically find in this business. This is a T60 diesel pusher gel coat and people who watch a lot of my videos kind of laugh that they know that I'm going to say some of those things over and over but not everyone has seen these videos before. This is the same, it's two or three grades higher skin than you normally find in this business. What's cool about it? Let's say you pull into a place that has a low-hanging tree branch and it kind of scrapes the side of your camper. You can buff that out of this fiberglass. Now you, and you'll never know the difference. You know, like a body shop, you could never tell the difference. But if you had a traditional cheaper, less expensive, um, phylon skin, you could buff it out, but you're always gonna see where that spot was worked on. That's a difference here. Now, your, uh, you've got your dual entry doors here. They both have the triple steps for easy coming and going. And as small as this camper is, they probably could have gone doubles, but they know that there's a lot of people approaching retirement age, searching for Winnebago travel trailers, because if you are thinking retirement grade, this is definitely a brand of camper that can live up to that. Um, and that's, you know, so they put the triple steps here. They have the anti-slam door with the easy little auto-close screenshot band on it. You can really heave that thing, and it's not going to slam shut. And that's really important, considering the fact that they wanted to put... Uh, a really big awning on this and they put a 19 foot awning on this thing and you see how it's located right next to where that entry door is going to swing open it's important that the door doesn't slam into the awning when the awnings open because the awnings are not designed to absorb impact going sideways so having that anti-slam door right there does a, a very good job for you now right up front our grilling enthusiasts will appreciate the fact that your grill connect is actually not located under the awning. A lot of people don't like the, uh, the the smoke and stuff like that rolling under their awning. I don't think it actually does anything, but I know a lot of people don't like it. So there you have it. Um, we will typically put bigger propane tanks on these. These standard will have 20 pounders. We tend to put 30 pound tanks on them. 
for no reason other than the fact that you're expecting to have, I think, a bigger capacity on a higher grade camper like this. 20-pound um, tanks are nice because you can easily exchange them anywhere, anytime, but 30-pound tanks give you so much more reserve that you have time to find a 30-pound fill or swap station. So I don't think one makes a big difference to the other, but just to let you know, again, the one that we have in stock might be a little different. So something that you can't see here is the fact that not only do we have power awning and tongue jacks, but the fact that Winnebago's using higher grade uh, components that move faster with higher torque. So they're stronger, faster, last longer. Once again, uh, retirement grade. And don't take my word for it. Before calling our sales department at Halo RV, call our service guys and ask them how the service records are in the Winnebago's. They're going to say they're fantastic because this is the brand, statistically, proportionately speaking, on a percentage basis, we see the lowest number of instance of issues with a Winnebago as compared to any other brand that we carry at Halo RV. And I'm very happy with the number, like the Apexes, the Passports, uh, those things are fantastic. Your Rockwoods are doing great. Jayco's long been a gold standard product, but these guys just almost never come back for work and it's I don't know the last time we ever had anything major you know I can't even think of one simple side mount solar prep here so if you are looking for a portable panel to chase the sun while the camper is parked in the shade you got it now down below here this is a significant improvement over previous years where they had a single layer of like Darko woven underweave as a quote enclosed underbelly I was never really happy with that it's, I understand that it works, it's okay, but I don't like it. I like that hard shell corrugated enclosure. It feels better to me, it feels more secure. And again, with the uh, weather package, we've got heat reflection going on. Your major sun points, the nose cap, the rear wall, the roof, and the floor uh, to keep the heat in or out however you want it, basically. So even in the summer, not even for cold camping, it will be more efficient. And that is something that in conjunction with the bigger air we put on these, very comfortable camping, even in mid-peak uh, summer areas. Uh, outside shower, black tank flush, all of our hookups kind of localized in one little area here. Um, very much like our Jayco's, if we look above the tires, you're going to see galvanized steel wheel wells, because again, these things are made to last. You've got those good looking aluminum wheels there. And uh, over here, this is interesting. Because we have a rear bedroom, we have a rear pass-through storage compartment. So a lot of people look at this at first, they say, oh man, there's no storage outside. Oh no, no, there is. There's all the same storage you always had. It's just in the back, not in the front. We've got easy magnet catches, slam latches, you know, making life <laughs> the whole point of this is recreation, right? Recreational vehicles are supposed to be fun, simple, and easy. Man, I, I tell you what, I am, I love the skins on these. It just, everything is shinier, more reflective. It's got like a mirror-like finish on it. Even like a, a generic neutral color, like the platinum gray skin that we're looking at here, it's just a better grade of it. And everything on this just looks and feels better. They get the job done. And you also have outside TV hookups right next to those wheel wells there. So if you do want to set up some uh, patio chairs under the awning, that big 19-foot awning, you got more than enough room to do so. A couple quick construction points. Uh, all Winnebago travel trailers have all aluminum skeletons. So the roof trusses, the walls, the floor, the front rear walls, everything is a full aluminum skeleton. That helps with the longevity. It helps keep the weight down. Um, obviously, we've got a fully walkable roof because I'm trucking around up here. But uh, another thing I wanted to take a look at here is the uh, the King Jack antenna system on this. You do not have to crank it up and down. You only kind of point it in the direction. And you have a, uh, a signal indicator on the inside when you are turning it. So you don't have to turn it a little and then scan channels and then turn it and scan and turn it and scan. You can just turn it, find where you have the strongest signal, scan once, and be done with it. It's great. Um, short of that, the only other thing I like to really point out up here is just how heavy-handed and sure-handed they are with all the sealant on your Winnebago trailers. They do a very good job of, I mean, some people would say comically over-sealing things, but making sure that, you know, coming out of the factory, you're not going to experience any kind of problems or leaks or anything like that, because that is the opposite reason why someone would buy a camper. So, whether it's Pitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all at Halet RV, so you don't have to. But we don't do hidden dealer fees, by the way. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.